back to our channel. First, let's talk about entertainment here. Now, the good part of it, congratulations to Tonto. Congratulations to Davido. Davido is nominated in five categories at Afrima Awards 2021. Best Male um, Artist in West Africa, Album of the Year, A Better Time, Artist of the Year, um, Best African Collaboration, and Song of the Year. And here we've got Wizkid. They said Wizkid is the first Afrobeat artist to appear in the Guinness Book of world records good one right there and whiskey was also nominated in six categories at the afrima 2021 award afrima awards um best male west africa album of the year made in lagos um artist of the year best african collab collab essence best duo in africa r b whiskey essence featuring terms six song of the year essence <laughs> I'm sure Essence will win like one or two awards here or, or maybe everything who knows you know but yeah um, Whiskey Davido doing well in the industry say whatever you want you know this year my favorite one than the other but you know it's always like that every year we all know now guys the answer to yesterday's question is 67 my little sister was half my age when I was six now I'm 70 how old is my little sister the answer is 67 I just quickly want to chip that in <laughs> let's continue here we've got um, a PR expert talking about terms his name is um, Chidi um, here is this story he shared recently on social media July 2018 Thames messaged me about promoting her music I checked her out and liked the song so much that I reached a friend who was managing an indie label but the label owner said she sounded too R&B and declined today Thames is global rolling with Whiskey Drake and Rihanna I don't blame him to be honest he did been around enough to know that her sound was going to be a hard sell just sharing this conversation because it's a reminder that if we believe strongly in ourselves we should keep striving the world will catch up to our gift and guys look at their conversation here his conversation with the boss of the record label sent um, this to, to him and the guy was like the chicks sound too R&B usually harder to sell in Ninja or Africa for that matter and person replied so this other person shall we find her when people try to sound like Rihanna or Ciara well she was spotted with Rihanna recently now don't blame people please stop blaming record label boss for not signing a particular artist that you know later got that attention that big attention stop blaming them they are not God they are not they are not a psychic they just try their, their best use their discretion considering the fact that they've been in the industry for for a long time to pick you know those people they think might become big in five years or in two years or you know after some time so they try their possible best to choose those promising stars but sometimes it might not be exactly what they thought it would be well like i said you know this lady terms was spotted with rihanna recently mm, are we are you thinking what i'm thinking maybe a collaboration but rihanna's been on break for a long time she just um, focused on fashion these days and she's making a lot of money from fashion you know well let us move straight to the next one here we've got legendary beat posted recently saying when you discover your purpose in life aka your work you would never need anyone or accolade to make you feel better everything comes alive you will feel important without anyone's approval you can be fired from a job but not your work find your work and find fulfillment in your work you know sometimes i wonder myself like is this my work <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I said this is because it's blogging, right? And immediately I left secondary school, you know, when the, there was blog sports and all that. I've always loved it. 
<laughs> you know, right from the beginning. So I'm asking myself, because I know this blogging has turned into gossip, right? You know, a lot of people, when you tell them you're a blogger, they're like, Phew. although they now, they now value some bloggers, right? Because of people like Linda KG, and of course some bloggers are making more money now. So the respect is coming, you know, good thing, you know, but uh, sometimes you just a content creator, don't need to put blogger. <laughs> But yeah, this is what I love doing, you know, right from the start, even before I realized that I could make money from this, you know. But yeah, <laughs> that, just, that just reminds me of, of, yeah. Let us move straight to the next one. Here we've got Sean Kuti, you know, reacting to the whole news, although it wasn't direct, you know, the no news about whiskey being better than Fela. And uh, here's what he says uh, himself. You can't be greater than that which you take from or steal from until fella comes back from the dead and steals some of your faves music or uses their lyrics the ways they steal his lyrics and music your comparison is null and void um, i have warned many of you many times to stop using your ancestors as toothpick especially those that fought for you <laughs> he's got a point right there and here we've got danny young I don't know if you know this guy, <laughs> Danny Young has been in the industry for a long time. Um, he says here, from a logical point of view, would they say it is the same effort to run a thousand kilometers barefooted 40 years ago and running the same distance today in a car? Farmers um, cultivated lands with hoes and cutlasses decades ago and today what you have tra tractors to cover a wider space sh shouldn't make you devalue disrespect the legacy of the holes and cutlasses um, different era comes with different opportunities technology has given today's musicians the opportunity to easily reach out and faster baba fella invented it and reached out with no internet or social media in place not to mention other rare and distinct attributes it portrayed that none of you all have finally sha i have come to conclusion that no matter what brand of Igbo Igbo you smoke never compare fella to today's artist well moving on to the next one here we've got corridor below yes that shocks you right yes corridor below in the news congratulations to him on joining the list of nigerian artists that have gone gold in u.s following a single that's according to a report right here do like that selling over 500k units in the u.s we've got whiskey on that list the video um, so twice whiskey twice um Bonner boy ioj and Corede Belo. I know most of you will be wondering, Corede Belo, please. Some of these artists, though you don't know them, but they are doing well online. A lot of people are still streaming their songs. I remember, you know, was it last year or last two years when we got a report about millions of people streaming Ice Prince's album or songs, right? It was even like the number one most streamed artist in Nigeria. And everybody was surprised, like Ice Prince, like why on Spotify? That is because we don't pay attention to these things. The numbers are there, you know, all you have to do is do your research. But there are some artists that you think are big, to you they are big because on social media, of course. But outside that, you know, on Spotify, on amazon on apple music they are doing great and they are still making their cash they're still cashing out um just like j1 who said he still makes money from his song or doing that he released you know years ago he still gets money from that during his interview i think last year we make money this year no matter what them do this be better this year about the big news all right turn to dk and the x guys for real personally I'm tired of this, like talking about just tone to DK's news, but I have to, it is my job to talk about it. And that's why I'm talking about it. But honestly, guys, ah, we need another news on social media. Honest, I'm just being honest though. <laughs> Even though I'm a blogger, I'm just a, personally, I'm tired of it, but let's still, let's still report it. Okay, I went live yesterday and allowed people to call in and we talked about this, you know. Now, this guy said that he broke up with Tonto DK because of drinking and heavy smoking habits. 
though Tonto DK reacted to that, but let us read what he said. He said, countless times I complained to our mutual friends of how tired I was due to your heavy smoking and drinking. I made it clear I was going to walk away if it continued, yet you never stopped or made efforts despite my willingness to stand by you till you gradually stop. Long before the voice note was released, I ended the relationship. It was no shock then that after i called it quit you allegedly conspired with a blogger who already reached out to you about a voice note before the breakup to now release it i'm ready to foot the ndlea cost to carry out a test on you if you never abused hard smoking and heavy drinking if i find it to be false i will waive my right to trial for one year this was what broke us up and not an aftermath voice note okay so he's trying to say that this wasn't the reason why they broke up it was because she smokes and drinks again you know when it comes to things like this that is why you have to be careful know when to react know what to say he denied the voice note initially. Tonto Diki confirmed it. And now, of course, you stop denying it because he's been caught red-handed. Even the person that's in a relationship with you confirms it. I'm sure Tonto Diki recognizes his voice anywhere, right? So he's now using some defense mechanism that I don't know where it's coming from. Remember, this guy, I'm not saying he's lying, but there are some things that has happened, which I said earlier, you know, um, he denied the voice notes earlier. Even his conversation with Tonto DK, I went through it because immediately after the voice notes got on social media, I immediately sent Tonto DK a message and apologized, blah, blah, blah. Said, you know, that's not my voice, the, this and that. And Tonto DK, of course, replied. And later, he stopped denying that. Right? Even the lady behind the voice note came out and said the voice note was also was leaked to somebody. And she apologized to Tundo DK. Now, we thought that it was that lady that was manipulating or that manipulated this man, Prince. But no, the lady said the reverse is yet to reply that lady, but the lady said the reverse was the case. Remember, even we were thinking, like, this is so obvious for this guy to know that this lady trying to get information from him. It's so obvious. Any dumb person we know. So he was just playing along. That's what this lady is trying to tell us, that she, she was manipulated by this guy. That's why I said, I, I said, it's so obvious. So they were just trying to put up a story, like secrets and, and stuff like that in that conversation and make it look like a normal conversation when it was like consciously orchestrated. <laughs> Again, initially, he said that you know, he wasn't arrested by the DSS, which I said in the previous video, wasn't arrested by the DSS. Well, it turns out that he was arrested by the DSS. Now, that doesn't mean that Tonto Diki herself is saint. No, she's no saint. You know, uh, we had a conversation um, yesterday when I was live, and we talked about this. And, you know, a caller said, this lady is no saint herself, which is true. And again, is Tonto Diki enjoying the attention? I think it is on the 50-50 level. I remember also remember a caller saying that, you know, in the night, people like Tonto Dike will cry. They will act like they are all strong and broad daylight, which I believe, you know, in the night all by yourself, that is when the real life comes to you. It hits it, hard in the night, you know, in the middle of the night. But at the same time, is Tonto Dike enjoying the attention and the fit? Yes, it's just two things you know happening at the same time so it's you know she gained from here and she loses here and uh, we also talked about whether uh, this is going to affect her personal life or her relationship life of course and guys let me point this out this lover the person who started this the account has been removed i can't find it let me refresh i can't find it yeah it has been removed by instagram in the midst of all this because this is huge and i know that the tr they've tried so much or oh, they've been trying for a long time to take that down and finally they succeeded just lover nowhere to be found i think just lover has a backup page i think so but yeah tonto dk actually reacted to that that accusation right 
she says here dear ndlea if you ever have a report of me on drugs i would gladly show up and i will be glad if you oblige us the honor to record the whole process thanks and god bless you that is turned to dk with a full chest saying i'm good i also stumbled on the post where she said i am a very truthful person i have not a bone of lie in me i don't think so i don't think so you know i just don't want to this is another story but there are some things that i later found out was not true but she came out to say you know that is true well let, let's not talk about that but don't, you're not saint. you're not saint, right the guy to is no sin both of you are no sin I, the other thing we talk about why is Tonto Dike so unlucky is it because she's chasing after men with money or something yeah we talked about that and I remember some people um, said that you know that it, it's not like she uh, some ladies though let me be specific ladies though they said she have to get somebody that is financially stable that's number one thing generally the person was like let's just say she's unlucky Another person that we talked about yesterday was Jemena. Personally, I said, I don't think Tonto DK, or I don't think it's necessary for Tonto DK to add Jemena, who is now married, to mention her name in the statement. It seems like Tonto DK is looking for somebody to drag with her in this saga or the scandal that's that's going on and immediately Tonto DK mentioned this lady social media went gaga now her name was mentioned in the voice note. nobody talked about it but guess what immediately Tonto DK knows that her platform she's got a huge platform and if she mentions anybody's name people are going to drag this person's name now I remember saying Jemena went through a reaction she reacted to that she said uh she's on face just like whatever whatever she just i read everything she was just talking about her skin talking about like people who talk she wasn't direct she didn't even is that even reaction in the first place but here's the thing a lot of people said in the comment section that look this lady is just pretending i mean i remember saying that turn to dk people like turn to dk in the middle of the night reflect on what happened during the day and just you know break down maybe you know this ladies who come on social media act all strong and, and stuff like that maybe that's what's going on with jemena because she's married and popo Cree or something reacted to that the prince reacted to that said no i don't have this ladies nude with me or uh, pictures or videos or sex videos with me in that statement remember tonto dk said that oh it's old and new video so is she insinuating that this lady cheated while in her husband's house that's another thing we need to think about i i read some comment those from the um uh, from delta from delta state said that's a taboo and if she tries that it's going to affect the husband and she knows it and poboku himself said it that she is um just um a family friend a family friend yeah um so here this lady or was her name came alone lawyer reacted to that saying oh, on miss tone to dk and prince my advice is that ladies should stop filming sexual um intercourse nudity with your partners this is the core issue of blackmail here with everyone using their past lovers against each other it's tacky and tasteless your children are watching and the internet is clicking save true we've got the actress georgina onua saying september to remember oh lord nigeria entertainment um, industry is currently on steroids moral of the whole drama this should be a wake up call and a teaching moment for all who are quick to tap into anointing be careful of those you envy and tap into their anointing um not all that glitters is gold well she's got a point right there i just want you guys to let me know what you think about her mentioning jemena do you think is necessary let's read what somebody said about jemena they said jemena's that's according to this person they said jemena's husband is fine with her posting the kind 
of content she posts. Please, is it also fine with her making sex tapes and cheating? Again, I want to ask, is it true about um, Isoko people? Is it true that when a lady cheats, it affects the husband? Also, I would like to know those from Delta States because I know, yes, I've got subscribers in Delta State. I'm so sure of that. Now, now Bob Whiskey, <laughs> actually, in the midst of all this, called out Tonto DK. I mean, it's Tonto DK's old friend. They were very, very close initially, but, you know, I don't know what happened between them. Bob Whiskey, you know, thinks this is the best time for him to come out and drag Tonto. Here's what um, she says. He says, if you no get data this September, eh, I'm enjoying Auntie disgracing herself everywhere. But Whiskey just wants to be part of any trend. He wants his name to be mentioned. He wants to jump on it. I just think this is Bobisky looking for attention. That I did I did no nobody know wrong. Why are you saying that now? <laughs> now that is the whole thing is trending i was lawyer for four years of friendship even when i was told to insult rose that's Churchill's wife i dragged that lady without doing nothing to me just because i wanted to be lawyer only a heartless person will hold your money millions of naira and still fight me without no reason remember i wasn't begging for the relationship you were the one that came to me first so don't make it look like i came to you all your friends left you in dubai when you had issue i was the only soul who stood by you for three months i remember it was that year different bloggers were laughing at her and calling her names i signed out of my instagram page for her to log in so people could believe she wasn't um, arrested and all I get is I'm um, a wicked friend. Fools. Oh, Barbrisky, you are a bad friend. I don't pray to have a friend like you. If you have a friend like me, eh, your life don't better. When they hold your auntie, when now they support for Dubai for three months, good three months, well now they. Do you know how much? Do you know how much my money is in your is in your is in your auntie hand? Cause some of you are saying she's way richer than you. <laughs> she got money past you, me, Bob Risky. Do you know how much my money is in your auntie hand? Do you know how much my money is in her hand? Stupid fools! You wouldn't know anything. You just come to my page. I'm talking nonsense. Broke fools, not resemble like your sister. Three months in Dubai, I was in Dubai, dear. Suffering. Don't let me. Many of you now coming to my page to insult me. Eat one key for your house. You're not getting lights. Some of now, now for 7 p.m. now, now go look time. Go resume now, shower work. Some now for K2. Some now for Yaba. Some now for your Kotu Egbe. Now don't get work. You look me finish. Not to insult your mother. You're so broke. You 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 followed my page. I'm I'm not following you. Don't don't forget that. I don't even know you. Now you use a type Bob Brisky two two two. Follow my accounts. And yet you're coming to drop insults. Why can't you just unfollow me? It's easier that way. So you're the real fool. You're the real idiots. Don't you know? I'm here for you guys. Now don't jam. Only your moko kosha. Now them sabi my people. Honestly. Here we've got BC Alimi reacting to, to the whole Bobiski's interview with Chudi. You know, Bobiski said, I changed to a woman because it opened doors for me. According to BC Alimi, who's gay, is never a statement you will hear from a trans woman. But your local champion knows no better. We will all eat breakfast last last. That is what um, BC Alimi said recently. I said, I wish all women and trans women who endure violence every day and have to deal with patriarchy bullshit can learn something from a woman for pay when it suits you um moving on here we've got the uh actress charity not the charity saying i have said it before and i will say it again being a female celebrity in nigeria is more like an advanced prostitution 
okay, should I give my own personal opinion? Should I be candid with this? Or just pretend, you know, as a blogger, just play the game? Now, let me be honest. Let me be serious here, right? I think she's got a point there. Yes, truly, we've got other talented people. But honestly, the entertainment industry, especially the movie industry, has become something else. A lot of people just want to get on it to advertise themselves. And I'm saying this based on research, based on my conversation with actors. Some actors, though, up-and-coming act actors and um, veteran actors, you know based on my conversation with them that is just a platform for somebody to get more customers i mean big god you understand what i'm trying to say some of them now it's just like helping people right we've got the fake and the real we've got people who dupe other people just work because they want to make money i've got the real people so sometimes the fake kills the real you know a lot of people will stop you know believing whatever comes out of their mouth generally whether it's the real or fake and that's what is going on so we've got people with talent in the movie industry i'm not removing that fact moving on here we've got uh maureen who was seen kissing this chuku jekus the actor chuku jekus ex-wife kissing her cousin and she of course she care less about whatever anybody says because she reacted to that saying people just want to get mad about how i want to be with my family our bond bothers you eat shit because i will still kiss my brother on the lips and lick my cousin ill for the next 99 years no i can't i have a sister guys she can't <laughs> i can't even imagine my sister kiss <laughs> I got eh? Hey, don't even try it. <laughs> no worry, I still get sense past you with the take Panado on top of my depression. <laughs> well, she's got a point there. It's our life. It's, honestly, it's our life. But let us read what some people said here. This girl is clearly depressed. Um, and she replies, says this come with fake page. Boo, you ooze depression. Another person here, this is rubbish. Overdue and sign of depression. Depression. The reason why, in case you don't understand, they're saying that she's depressed is because of a marriage that didn't work. So they believe that she's still going through that pain. Moving on, speaking about Nigerian situation here, we've got Soso Berekon saying Naira is shit right now. And look at 58 million Naira in dollars. Just look at it. That's 58 million Naira. Wow. See, 100, 100 grams. All right, the next one right here, man paid to do this. And he admitted, said I was paid to do this. Let's watch this video. This is a shame. I record you? All right. I just want to know what is going on today. Well, this is uh, protesting for Nigeria. Oh, for Nigeria? Yeah. For a stronger Nigeria. It's a Nigerian Christian not target of genocide or ethnic cleansing. Uh, so what part of Nigeria are you? I'm not. You're not in Nigeria? So how then you're not in Nigeria and you're protesting for Nigeria? Well, anybody's black, you know what I'm saying? I protest for them. But you know, when you got to protest, you got to protest with the information and the stuff that is happening. No. So how do you know that Nigerian Christians are not the target? How did you know that? I don't know. So why didn't you have the placard? Oh, look, I'm going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. I protest for anybody. I help a lot of people. So you were paid to do this? Yeah. Or you were paid to do this? Yeah, I just, I just joined them with everybody. Uh, because I you did not know. black, white. No, I understand. It, it is good to support brothers, to support the uh, culture. But also, it is also good to 
protest and pass the right information, it's lot, right? It's a lot of information going out here, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people twist a lot of things up. Yeah. I don't know for sure yeah. what... Well, well, you got to do a little well, bit however, digging. However, you know what I'm saying? I'm just here to help everybody out. I understand that. Yeah, it's I, not your fault. It's not your fault. You're doing what they asked you to do. Yeah. At least you're paid to do this and you're doing what you get paid for. Well, it's not yeah. about pay, you know what I'm saying? It's just about helping people out. I understand. I but they of, gave you the wrong information, though. I'm just trying to help to bring you out. I'm, uh, we all are from Africa. Yeah. So when they give an information that is not correct... I don't yeah. know what was correct. All I was told that they needed me for this. System. For this. Who, 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 who was that that bring you people here? Uh, I got a bunch of little kids over there in the Bronx. In the Bronx. Uh, and they, they asked me, see your tone. Will you go over there and help us out? You know all right. Saying? So I, I decided to go over there and help them out. No problem. Thank you very much. I just wanted to know what is going on. Thank all you. Right. All right. Uh, sir, good day. Uh, is it okay if I talk to you on the camera? I'm really not supposed to do that. The guy is, uh, you know, he, he's in charge. He's okay, he don't want you guys to talk on I just want to, to remind you guys, Titus, the sardine, is now 675. Depends on the store. Some stores carries it for 700 naira. Sad. So, guys, that is where I'm going to hold it. Let us move straight to, to this question. If a baby born in the morning is monica evening is evelyn on the floor is florence what do we call a child born in a car leave your answers in the comment section below uh, my own is catherine yeah catherine what is yours <laughs> don't steal my answer well i answered before you so technically i that's my answer <laughs> well leave your answers in the comment section below thank you so much guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe until we see you next time peace